I grew up uh, in Guelph mostly, and my parents were very involved in the political community, but also the food community. And um, so for me, co-ops are always uh, something that you sought out and that you try to join and support. When I went to grad school in Ottawa, I lived in a co-op, and uh, to be honest, that's how I would still like to be living. Is um, it was a wonderful way to um, you know build community with other people and share the work. That led me to uh, start patronizing food co-ops. It has been something that has been important to me for a long time. Well, the certificate program came out of a, a, a big need in terms of having a higher education for uh, cooperative managers and directors. And there wasn't anything at this point in time uh, that had that kind of focus. And I, I thought that this was a very important thing to bring uh, to an educational framework. Um, the second part is that there's a real need, a practical need amongst cooperatives to have the same access as the world globalizes and changes, to have access to the same information that businesses have. The time was right and we had initial discussions with the University of Guelph because we were based here in Guelph, but we really wanted to be housed at a school of business. We went and met uh, Brenda and we talked about the vision of this program and where it could head. And I really was seeing this as what I hope is the first step of a much bigger and deeper partnership between the cooperative sector and, and universities and business schools in particular. It's exceeded all of our expectations on a number of levels. I think that the interest that the students have shown, the energy uh, and creativity that they've brought to the table is, is really infectious. One of the things that was absolutely um, stunning about this program when you got to the end of it was to see how these students had really formed, I think, lifetime bonds. They've got this network of people they can call for advice, for support, for information, for experience. It's just a terrific resource for them, and I think a resource for the whole sector. It's still very much in its infancy in terms of the potential of where this program could go, because we were talking about potential mentorship and having perhaps an advanced um, program. So there's lots of other opportunities. There's no way you could do this type of program without having these type of people involved, and so we're incredibly grateful uh, that they both got involved in the program. Um, they gave an enormous amount of energy and dedication and, and tenacity to see the program happen. When I started my classes in January, my new classes, you know, and I was giving people my biography, I actually boasted about the award. And I don't usually boast about good things that have happened to me, but I thought, you know, I think it's important for my students to know that a business professor at the Schulich School of Business was given an award by the Ontario Cooperative Association. I'm very honoured by the award, but I do see it as a collective award, certainly for uh, Brenda and myself, but also for the other people that have worked on this, from Daryl Reed, my colleague, to Denise, who's put many years into this process, the whole staff at both Schulich and, and on co-op, and I really see that award as a, as a collective award and a recognition for the unique work we've done.